Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation on grace. Today is the 17th of February and our reading is from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13. Until we all attain to the unit of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature adulthood to the measure of the statue the statue of the fullness of Christ. So the work of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is um, is so we will attain this um, your, this um, mature adulthood. It's it's the work of God's grace. That's why we are reading the Bible. That's why we pray. That's why we have fellowship with the with one another. It's because we are walking, we are running towards this mature adulthood. Uh, we cannot remain a child forever. We were a baby when we came to Christ, but now we are growing because we wanted to become an adult in Christ. And the measure here is the stature of the fullness of Christ. And I would like to read a few verses in the Bible, in the New Testament, to, to talk about it. John chapter 1 verse 16 says, for, for from his fullness we have all received one gracious gift after another. The word gracious gift here is grace, carries. So we have received this grace. We've been talking about it since, since the beginning of the pandemic here in, in France. And the, um, this precious grace is given us from his fullness. The revelation of Christ's fullness gives us this amazing present, this amazing grace. We have received it from the fullness of Christ. So we, you need to, to go towards this fullness. Don't remain, don't stay a child, be, become an adult in Christ, filled with his grace. It's one grace and then another grace. That's what the text says in Greek. There is carries here and then carries again. One, from one grace, you go to another grace. You are growing in grace, in, in the knowledge of Christ, in the fullness of Christ. You grow in grace. That's amazing. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1. For since the law is but a shadow of the good things to come and not the actual form of those realities, it can never perfect those who draw near by the same sacrifice which they offer continuously year after year. So they cannot be, uh, bring fullness. Religion cannot bring fullness. Only Christ can. He's talking in chapter, Hebrews chapter 10 about the sacrifice of Christ. And the goal of Hebrews is to talk about the supremacy of Christ. He's supreme and his work is excellent. It's perfect. So it is by the cross, by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, that you can come to the fullness of Christ. You can come to the knowledge of him. And when you receive this fullness, John chapter 1 says that we receive grace upon grace. Wonderful, wonderful good news for you today in the 17th of February. It's very warm here in the southwest of France. It's nearly 20 degrees here in the Basque country. It's a beautiful day. I just went for a walk with a disciple of Christ, a person who is walking with Christ now. And we had a time of prayer walking in this hilly country called the Basque country. What a wonderful day to receive the good news about the fullness of Christ. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Not just half of it, but the, all the fullness of God. Your whole life will be filled with this fullness of God. And it's by knowing the love of Christ. It is by the cross. It is by the revelation of God's grace, and it is by the knowledge of God's love. When you know his fullness, when you know his grace, when you know his love, you are filled with him. So may God bless you today, and may your life be filled with Christ today. God bless you.